Hello, race fans. It's Peter Partee from Partee Racing. I am absolutely thrilled to be announcing the completion of our upgraded u shaped chain guide for the BMW S62. This is going to be a lifetime replacement part for the chain guide and, and frankly, the part in the BMW S62 that is most likely to cause a catastrophic failure of the engine. It is the single weakest point, the Achilles heel of the BMW S62. People talk about rod bearings, they talk about Thanos, neither of those things is likely to cause catastrophic failure, nor does it occur with a regular degree of frequency. What does occur with astounding degree of frequency is the degradation and, and ultimately collapse of the U-shaped guide. And let's talk about how that happens. This is the BMW U-shaped guide to the BMW S62. It's attached to its cast aluminum backing with these candy-ass clips. See, that's it. That's all it, that's all they are. But you can pull them right off. Look how thin and easily bent this stuff is. What happens is over time, these things become grown and they snap off. And after a while, there is very little holding this U-shaped chain guide on the metal backing so that the chain will then cause it to rotate around the guide and ultimately get caught up in Vanos gears and at the board, it will break off, go clog your fuel pump. And at the same time, the chain will then ride on the metal here, causing metal particles to go throughout your engine. There are so many different ways that the failure of this part can cause catastrophic failures. Amazing. At least 50, over 50% 50 of the engines that I see, probably closer to 75% that I, I rebuild, have chain guide failure. And of those, at least half have failed because of the U-shaped chain guide. Uh, there was one where U-shaped chain guide was so over-rotated, it caused the chain to get caught up in uh, another component of the block and snapped it on the block. The, 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 that was just amazing to me. It really it ruined the block. <laughs> it not only totally ruined the motor, it ruined the block. So how, how are we going to address this with our pinks? Well, welcome to RT Racing Manufacturing 101. First of all, um, we replaced the and re uh, redesigned plastic portion of the U-shaped guide with Stanol 46. So Stanol 46 is an advanced polymer. It's self-lubricating. It is the polymer used by the OEM manufacturers in all high-performance applications. It is not the polymer that BMW used here. This probably is what's known as PA66, a much cheaper, similar polymer, but much cheaper to produce and nowhere near as durable or as self-lubricating as, as Stanol 46. Stanol 46 is, again, the B chain guide material to use, but it's not just that. It's that we completely redesigned both the thickness of it to look how much thicker it is than the stock piece. And we are able to do that because, again, we could fit this on a, a thinner base of billet because billet is stronger. So it doesn't have to be as thick as the stock piece. And so again, when you make a billet backing, that enables you to have a thicker Stanol 46 higher grade polymer to begin with. But it's not just that. In fact, it's not even primarily that. It's the attachment method that we changed. Notice, no candy-ass clips here, guys. What we have instead are three lugs. One, two, three. And the genius here that Chris Nair, our lead designer, came up with was, we don't need taken clips. And we'll make the U-shaped guide, the, the plastic portion itself, the clip, by manufacturing it so that it has to be or, you know, pulled apart in order to be inserted. So watch this. Goes on the bottom. Oh, see, it won't, it won't go in unless you see it clips in itself and you have to pull this out. This thing is on there already and it is, it, it's self attaching. And there's no way for it to rotate because these lugs go into corresponding holes in the U shaped billet back, prevented from rotating. Now, 
not just that. We also then put in three holes right here in which we put, as you can see, a little faint outline of it right there, pins. These pins go all the way through into the Stanel 46 and then are staked by being chamfered. They can't come out. But even if they tried to come out, the horse, where are they going to go? This goes up against the block. The pins are so long, there's no way for them to escape. They're put in with green lock tight, they're in Stano 46, and then they're stake death. They're not coming out, period, but even if they do, they're going up against the block. And, and, and oh, those pins, along with the clip itself, provide, I mean, this is impossible, impossible to get off, even with, not in substantial strength. <laughs> So, again, the attachment method here is we're so confident in it that we're going to offer a lifetime guarantee of this part. Lifetime guarantee. Um, it fails, you get a new one uh, of your choice. Buy you a, a new BMW part, or we'll, if it's still available, um, or give you another one of ours. I guarantee you, you are never going to see another engine failure as a result of the U shaped guide to use Part T Racing U shaped guide. Now, you might wonder, well, wait, there's some complexities to the stock front of the brake. It's got an oily coal right here. It's got, you know, it's fed with oil from the block right here. And then it has a little oiling section up here. And there's an O-ring. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get it out and show you, but yeah. And then there is this little spacer up here. It's called the air spacer. And it out. In any event, there's a little spacer that goes in there that reduces the the aperture of the oil that flows out and so we have to uh mirror that right but we can't just do it the way that they did it right i'm going to do it the right way we made our own airspace and that goes into just the right depth it's, it is chamfered it's right there with the same green o-ring so it's going to fit just like stock. And we manufactured our own oil adapter to go into the block with exactly the right size O-ring. And the connection right here for the bike one um, tensioner guide. And the key. It's perfect. goes in just to the right depth. So this is not some half-assed piece that has been thrown together to try to... You pick up market share or do some other wicked thing. This is genuinely an advancement, a tremendous advancement in the quality of the chain guides for the BMW S62 and the elimination of the principal source of catastrophic failure for the BMW S62. So um, it is going to be expensive. Um, but it's, I could, you wouldn't believe it if, you, if I told you how much it cost us to make um, with the billet backing and the Stanley 46, which has been injected, folded. Um, it's ridiculous. Um, it's going to be somewhere in the seven to eight hundred dollar range. My colleagues want me to charge fifteen hundred dollars for it, and I just refuse to do that. The stock piece is four hundred dollars, three ninety four right now, and I'm sure BMW will probably raise it tomorrow by twenty percent, as they do that just about every year. So uh, this is going to be an expensive part, but it is going to be well worth it. If you are spending even just what eight thousand dollars on a chain guide tensioner and uh, chain, uh, you know, refurbishment of an S62, and you want to cheap out by buying the stock park $394 as opposed to ours for, say, $800 or $890 or whatever, you're wasting your money. You're, 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 being, you're, you're being foolish, in my opinion. So, but what about the other guides, right? Um, this, the left, what I call the left tensioner bank, or the, the, the bank one tensioner, tensioner guide rail. Um, this is ten tensioned by the pencil tensioner from uh, the bank one upper timing uh, cover. And then it flows into yeah. the U-shaped guide as we showed earlier. But um, two things about this. One is it's no longer available. Good luck getting it from BMW. And if you can't get it from BMW, you'll notice that it, it, it has an O-ring behind right here that beads supposed to beat oil to the surface of the uh, guide. Well, BMW forgot to drill the holes. So 
This is a well-established phenomenon on the M5 or uh, E39 section. And so people have been drilling their holes, have been measuring them and putting them at certain angles, making them all perfect. It doesn't really matter. But um, in any event, we're going to make a new replacement, not the backing. The backing is fine. Uh, it doesn't break. But we're going to make a new Stanel 46 piece just like this that will have some improvements, be a little thicker, um, and it'll have the holes. And it will clip right on using the same attachment method that the stock piece does, which is basically one clip right here, and then we'll clip in right there, clips in right there, and clip. So uh, that's to come probably the next four to six weeks is when we'll have that available as a prototype. The U-shaped guide is in testing this week and next, and so we expect to release it by the end of next week. We will have it on the website for sale, and I promise we're going to propagate it widely. Thanks.